Empoleon just recently got a boost here in Pokemon Go after receiving a brand new fast move. So today we'll be using it in the Go Battle League in the Ultra League. Alright, so hi to all of you guys. So yes, Empoleon, the Penguin Pokemon, is a Pokemon that is water and steel typing and it's a Pokemon that I actually enjoy using in the Ultra League. It currently has Waterfall, Hydro Cannon and Drill Pack. Um, the thing about using Waterfall, it will be good against Talon Flame. However, now that he has access to a new move and that is not Metaclaw. Metaclaw is really bad. Alright, really Metaclaw is really, 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 very, very bad. Alright, we have Steel Wing. Alright, it's a steel typing move too. It is good in certain situations but also bad in certain situations. Yeah, we will see how things goes, especially against fire type Pokemon. I mean, we can use Hydro Cannon, but um, yeah, Waterfall would be great to farm down. Anyway, let's go ahead to go back to League, alright? Let's go into here, let's go into here, let's go into here, and we are going to use this team. My Shadow Charizard together with my Empoleon and also Shadow Needle Queen is something that I don't usually use often, but I just wanted to show you uh, using that. Uh, Poison Jab. Poison Fang and also Earth Power. Alright, it's a rank 16 in the Ultra League. So let's go ahead to um, find our first opponent. So if you guys notice, I'm not using any legendary Pokemon. I mean, uh, Ultra League wise, I enjoy using uh, non-legendary Pokemon most of the time. Uh, the only legendary Pokemon that I use is PG. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's not available, of course, you won't use it for the Ultra League. Okay, we got Gengar in the house, a very hard-hitting uh, Pokemon against a very hard-hitting Charizard over here too. Hopefully the network is fine over here. I do think that it should be fine. Okay, let's go ahead with our first move. That's gonna be Dragon Claw. High chance my opponent is gonna shoot this. So I'm thinking if I should actually um, shield mine or so, or just let it go through. Oh my god, he did not shoot that. That is actually very, very rare to see. Um, We can just let this go through and then we can farm down the Gengar, I suppose so. Okay, Shadow Punch. Okay, Um, now we are gonna go ahead to go with this. Then, oh, whoa, of course we lost him. P-Tie on that. Uh, we have really tapped on Dragon Claw. I'm gonna farm down with the Gengar. Uh, not Gengar, sorry, with the uh, Empoleon. Alright, Empoleon go. There we go. One Steel Wing and it is out of the picture. Now let's see what's the next Pokemon. Okay, it is in Abama Snow. Abama Snow wise, uh, we actually have uh, Drill Pack on. And furthermore, now that we have access to Steel Wing, it actually is better against, you know, Abama Snow. Since we will do super effective damage with our. Um, Steel Wing, that's awesome. We can also uh, do that. Uh huh. Now you wanna bring in that. Uh huh. Now we can do this. So we're gonna double shield our Empoleon. All right. Looking at the situation now, we definitely will not want to double shield and then just go with a Hydro Cannon to knock out the Charizard. All right. Boom. There we go. They now want to uh, let it go down. So of course we're gonna use another Hydro Cannon soon. Okay. Okay. Great. We're gonna have to shield this regardless of whether it is Blast Burn or Dragon Claw. I need to shield this. Alright, I mean, Needle Queen can still come in to handle uh, both the other Pokemon, but I want to showcase um, Empoleon, right? So let's go ahead and do this. Oh my god, Empoleon is just going to beat down the, the, the two Pokemon. This is going to be pretty insane. Empoleon just took down Gengar, just took down Charizard, and it's also going to probably take down the Abama Snow. Alright, we're going to shield this. There's nothing from Abama Snow that will totally knock out my Needle Queen, right? Yeah, nothing. So I'm just uh, shoot that. Okay, Energy Ball. Okay, great, great. Let's go with this. And this will be enough to knock out the uh, Abama Snow. Even if it does not and we get taken out, we definitely can use our Needle Queen to just uh, Poison Jab down the Abama Snow since it will be weak to Poison. I think my opponent has left the battle and hence why we are experiencing 12 seconds of delay now. Alright, great, thank you very much. You have 12 seconds, include the animation time, by the way. Alright, great, we are done. Okay, awesome, we just won the first battle. Let's go into the very next battle now, okay? I can see a huge potential in um, using Empoleon. One thing I will say though, whenever I encounter an opponent using Empoleon, I always find that I struggle with it a little bit, um, even if I'm using uh, something that I know can do super effective damage to Empoleon because it's pretty tanky. And of course, having access to Hydro Cannon just makes it really, really awesome. Alright, got Swampert in the house. That is very bad for us. But we'll see what we can do. Okay, we got Weak Connection to coming in to say hello to us. That is not good too. Okay, let's go with our Dragon Claw. Okay, do we want to pull a switch into Empoleon though? To try and catch the Hydro Cannon. <clears throat> um, not too sure if we want to do that, but let's see. Okay, we're going to have to shield this. Otherwise, our Charizard is going to go bye-bye. 
Okay, um, let's see now, let's see now. Now, in this situation, you know, having access to steel wing. Okay, okay, there we go, hydro cannon. Having access to steel wing actually is not so good for the Empoleon since it is going to do resisted damage to the Swampert thanks to the water typing. Yes, water resists steel. As compared to running a hydro cannon, not hydro cannon, but waterfall. Okay, okay, Mandibus. Let's go with Hydro Cannon, of course. That will do more damage since both the moves are going to do uh, neutral damage anyways. Alright, let's go with this. Let's see. Boom. Not enough. Mandibus is very tanky. Remember that. Okay. Okay, there's nothing we need to shield up. Everything will be good. It's either neutral damage or resisted. He's going to use Dark Prowse uh, or Foul Play. Alright, surely. Okay, let's go with that. One Steel Wing, one Hydro Cannon. One Steel Wing, one Hydro Cannon. We might have to farm down the Mandibus so we get an... Uh, advantage in terms of energy so we can uh, counter the the swamper that's what we need to do okay okay let's go with this oh my god mm okay okay i'm gonna let this go through i need to farm down the mandibus remember okay so once we farm down the mandibus okay can we can use this to farm down the mandibus okay once we farm down the mandibus we have a lot of energy yes use your move he has two shoes left right i think he has two shoes left that is not good. Okay, area A. So, okay, there we go. Farm down the Mandibus. Two, three, stop it. Do not use your move anymore. Do not use your move anymore. Do not. Yes, thank you very much. Now we got a lot of energy. It's probably going to bring in the Swampert again. I'm going to go with my uh, charge move immediately. Okay, Dragon Claw. I'm tapping on the Dragon Claw. I do believe it's going to be the Swampert. Okay, okay, bringing that in. Okay, let's go with Cresselia. That is not so good for us. Um, but let's see if he's going to shoot this or not. Okay, you might think that it's going to be Blast Burn and might shoot this. Uh, excuse me, network. Excuse me. Hello. Okay, great. We burned a shoe. Okay, we're going to go with this now. Okay, you want to bring in the Swampert. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, let's go with this. Awesome. Now, let's see if this is going to be enough. Yes, it is, but he decided to shoot that, so it's not enough. Um, phew, I'm going to shoot this. Yeah, I'm going to shoot this. Thinking guys, thinking guys. Okay, okay, let's go with this. I don't I don't I did not count the the fast moves from the swamp, but otherwise I would have just a CMP tie with him. Okay, let's just be safe about it. Go with one blast burn. Okay, 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 great, there we go. Okay, this is gonna do a lot of damage to the um Cresselia. Okay, there we go. Boom. Awesome. Awesome. Now is he going to try and farm us down? If he is, uh, um, well, okay. He's going to use the charge move now. It's probably going to be Grass Knot because it's going to be enough to knock us out already. I then can go for Earth Power to knock out. Oh, it's Moon Blast. Uh-oh. Is he running Moon Blast and a Future Sight? If that's the case, then it's very worrying. I do not know if we can survive a Future Sight. I do think we, we would survive. Okay, I do think we okay. There we go. We survive. Now we have to get to Earth Power. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, Earth Power will definitely be enough. Poison Fang would not be enough. Okay, come on. There we go. Needle Queen, do your thing, and boom, we won. You can see the bar just came out. Oh my god, that was so close. Okay, that was a uh, pretty fun. That was pretty insane or so. Okay, and Polyon did a lot of work if you ask me, especially handling the Swampert. I mean, I don't have any other Pokemon to handle the Swampert because my other two Pokemon, Charizard and Needle Queen, are both weak to water. So, we have to use Empoleon to handle the um, Swampert, but not get hit by the Earthquake, okay? Alright, we got Galventula in the house, a pretty evenly matched up over here, alright? Um, so, we will see how things goes. Let's go with that. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, we're gonna have to shoot this. Right, okay, we're gonna shoot this. And then go with one wing attack and our charge move straight away. This charge came through, that would have been devastating if uh, that went through. Okay, let's go with this. Then we're gonna do the same one fast move, one charge move. Since uh, he has already used his. Uh, let's see, is he gonna use the shield? Yes, yeah, gonna use the shield. Now we're gonna do that one. Fast move, one charge move. Let's see if she is going to shoot this or not. Okay, let's see if she's going to shoot this or not. And boom, did not shoot. I mean, shoot that. I did not shoot that. Sorry, what am I thinking? What am I talking? I do not know, man. Now we have a problem over here, guys. I'm going to bring in Needle Queen, of course. Uh, I'm going to let this go through. All right, we should be okay. I'm going to do a Poison Fang on the next Pokemon that comes in. Hopefully, it's not a Steel-typing Pokemon. 
Alright, okay, my uh, my um, attack has fallen or defense has fallen, can't really see it. Okay, we got Stun Fisk in the house. We got Stun Fisk in the house. It's gonna be Rock Slide, we're gonna let it go through. Since you'll be resisted. Okay, awesome, awesome. Rock Slide, since she used it so quickly, we can go with Earth Power now. Okay, I'm thinking if I want to stay put or switch into my Empoleon, I think I am going to stay put and see how I can see the word super effective is so faded away. Now I think I need to actually fix that problem. Okay, okay. Both my Pokemon are weak to Earthquake if you think about it, which is very bad. Um, yeah, so um, thinking what I do, I, I, I could, ooh, nice bait over there. Okay, okay, I'm going to go with a bait too, of my own. Ha 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 ha. Um, but is that going to be a good thing though? I do not know. Okay, I think I'm going to keep the Needle Queen, so I'm going to switch into my Empoleon. Haha, <laughs> there we go. We bait baited good. Awesome, awesome. Now we are doing Resisted move or so. To the Galarian Stun Phase. By the way, this Galarian Stun Phase is a level 50. And it is a Hundo, 2445. Alright, we got Umbreon in the house. That is very, very bad for us. Very, very, very bad for us. We have nothing that will do super effective damage to Umbreon. Umbreon is a very, very tanky, tanky tank. Okay, that is not good. Yep, 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 yep. We're not gonna win this, guys. We are not gonna win this, but it's okay. We won two already. We're gonna see if we can win the next two battles. Alright, for those of you who have ever tried an Empoleon in the house, um, let me know in the comment section down below how do you guys find an Empoleon whether it's a good Pokemon for you guys to use do you guys like it do you guys not like it all right I'm still gonna do a two more battles but hang on okay now we're gonna go into the next battle now battle number four um, hopefully we can win the next two battles all right there we go battle starting and let's see who we get matched up with we got matched up against okay Jarvie um, I actually did play a few battles, a few sets the last few days, trying to boost up my uh, ranking. Alright, we got Giratina in the house. Um, pretty okay start, pretty even start, and he's running Dragon Breath. Okay, let's go with that. Dragon Breath is better for the Empoleon, and now that Empoleon is running Steel Wing, actually it's better against Giratina, since you'll do neutral damage to Giratina instead of resisted damage with the Waterfalls. Okay, there we go, there we go, one more Dragon Claw, here we go. I might want to shield up, looking at the situation. Okay, there we go, there we go, boom, boom, awesome. Yep, great. Okay, Giratina is almost out. I might want to shield up though, I might want to shield up, I think I'm going to shield. Okay, okay, um, do we want to try and risk it to farm down the Giratina? I'm not too sure if you can get to a second Dragon Claw. I hope you can't. Okay, well he did. That is so quick and immediate. Um, I am going to show this, alright, although I'm supposed to showcase Empoleon, but um, yeah, I, I like Charizard. Okay, let's go ahead to see what the next Pokemon he's going to bring in, and that's going to be Swampert, okay. Not really good for us, all three of our Pokemon are either weak to water or ground, and hence Swampert will actually do really well against us. Okay, let's go with another Dragon Claw, at least we do a little bit of chip damage. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I don't think he's going to shield this. I'll be very surprised if he does. Yep, I knew it, knew it. Okay, let's go ahead with that. Okay, they're going to get taken out by the Hydro Cannon for sure. Even if it's Surf, we also get taken out. Most people obviously uh, do not. I was going to say most people do not use Surf, but um, yep, some people do because uh, not everyone has access to the Calm Day moves. Okay, especially at this ranking. Well, um, that was pretty interesting to see. Alright, uh, using serve, and now we are just gonna go with our drill pack. Okay, wait, that's wrong move. We're supposed to use with hydro, go with hydro cannon. What am I talking? What am I doing? Come on, Brandon. Okay, let's see. If you're gonna shoot this, it will be the same. Alright, it's the same then. Because the amount of energy. Rec mm? Really? 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 You wanna go with that? Okay, sure, if you want to um, experience some uh, water and, and lots of damage, uh, ouch. Yep, okay, 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 okay. Now we can just go with this too. Okay, almost knocking it out. Um, we would survive an earthquake from the non-shadow Swampert, so we should be fine. Alright, going with Flamethrower, we are then just going to fast move down the... Skeletregre, uh, I still can't pronounce this Pokemon name. Okay, let's go with that, and then we're gonna just go with Earth Power, and we'll be good to actually knock out the 
Swamp Bird. I mean, if it's Hydro Cannon, we can go with double Hydro Cannons and he might have even won. But he's running Surf. Oh my god, Surf also might be enough to knock us out already. Okay, there we go. Oh, what the? I didn't realize that Swamp Bird actually wins CMP tie against a uh, Needle Queen. We should have gone with the Poison Fang. We just lost to someone using Surf. How embarrassing. Brandon, you need to wake up. Yep, Brandon, you need to wake up. Anyway, let's go into the last battle now. Yep, I just um, need to wake up, man. Oh, okay, good. Thank you very much. We will win the next one since I just woke myself up. All right, next battle is going to be against Momo Well. Okay, great. The word Momo actually means peach in Japanese. All right, so maybe it's a peach well. All right, let's see now. We got um, Polyrath in the house. We're going to stay put. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, that is going to be Icy Win, since that is six in counters, in terms of counters. Okay, it's Icy Win. There we go. It's not Skull. Okay, we're going to go with Blast Burn first. Let's see if he, she's going to shoot this or not. Awesome, okay. Empoleon double resist ice, which is great. Uh, we might want to use that later on. Okay, let's go with this. Let's see if she's going to shoot this. We're going to pressure the shoe. Alright, so if she's going to shoot this, I am not going to shoot my Charizard at all. Okay, she did not shoot that. Uh, I'm going to let this go through. I might have to pull a switch into my other Pokemon because uh, I do not want the Charizard to be so debuffed. To the level that I would have an issue um, facing the next Pokemon, but let's see what's the next Pokemon first. It is going to be a Feraligator. We're going to bring in Empoleon. Okay, bringing in a uh, Zapdos. Okay, that is not good for us because Zapdos is good against the Empoleon. Now, um, the Feraligator, we are not also going to be good against it since we have two Pokemon that are weak to water. Okay, we will have to shield up against whatever that is being thrown at us. From this shadow, Zapdos. Yeah. Okay. We have to shield up against everything. Thunderbolt. Um, Ancient Power. Or even... Or even... Um, Drew back. Okay, yes. Uh, remember the moves. Trying to recall though. Okay, great, great. Almost out, almost out. Okay, great. And now it's out. Okay, the next Pokemon. Of course, the Feraligator can be handled with the Drew back. Um... I think we survive. We survive Hydro Cannon, so we're gonna let that go through. Oh, we survive Crunch, obviously. All right, we survive Hydro Cannon. It'll be resisted. Crunch is neutral damage, so we're gonna do this. It's running um, Shadow Claw, right? Okay, let's go with that. We're gonna switch into Needle Queen. No choice, no choice, but we have to do that. Okay, I'm gonna shield up. Okay, I hope it is Hydro Cannon and not Crunch. All right. Yep, it is Hydro Cannon, although I also hope it is not Hydro Cannon. Okay, there we go. This will weaken the um, weaken the Feraligator. By the way, you can put your, your finger in the middle of the screen, so you'll just uh, get accident too. Okay, we can just totally uh, poison jab it down. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I mean, we still got other two other Pokemon to use our fast move against it. So we should be fine. If we survive this, we also would be able to take it on. Okay, well, 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 boom. Wow, we won with three Pokemon left. Amazing. All right, so we won the last one. We lost two. That's quite sad to see, but we did our best already. So we just can claim our reward right now. But that is basically it in terms of how the Empoleon performs in the Ultra League. It's a fun Pokemon to use. I would use it again. Um, I have not tried it together with a Relegator yet, but um, we're having two Water-type Pokemon, especially if you're going to get faced up against a Zapdos or Electric-type Pokemon, wouldn't be great. All right. Oh, sorry. Look, looking at the wrong Pokemon. It's supposed to be this. All right. So that is all from me, man. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely remember to leave a like on the video. Be much appreciated. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. In the next video. All right. It's time to say goodbye. All right. So goodbye. 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 Goodbye.